A very warm welcome to the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and to the Centre for Army Leadership's 2019 conference. Cybersecurity and quantum computing. So if we talk about this, you know, we kind of have to couch it, frame it in this idea that I would like us all to accept, which is that hackers are just going to hack. Um, so since then, I've been investigating events such as disinformation, or Russian disinformation specifically, uh, the use of drones by sub-state actors, and also chemical weapons, um, as, as has already been mentioned. of how do we push the limits? How do we take things um, to and past their fail points and document it? How are they beating us? And the way that the Kiwis had, had figured it out was that these hydrofoils, basically once you get up on a plane, they defy all the prior hydrodynamics of sailing. Let's hear now what leading in a digital age means to our corporals. So when we first joined going on exercise, it would be the case of going into the field, going to a headquarters and uh, taking over 100 kilos worth of kit with you and printing off maps that would be instantly out of date. What we get to now uh, when, when we're going on exercise is that the commander in the headquarters can have a laptop or a screen and uh, people on the ground can put positions of where they are, live track them on their personal device they can put down locations for minefields or if they've seen IEDs. Uh, so my name is James F.O. Frost and uh, a couple of years ago I set up, uh, along with a few friends, an independent military thinking website called The Wave Room. Really happy to have been asked to do that and it came off the back of a friend that I sent out um, on Twitter. Um, so I'm going to use that to explain how I use other waves. Um, to lead in the, in the digital transformation age or the digital age. Thank you very much. Um, I feel uh, deeply honored to have a chance to speak with you today, speak to you today about the importance of emotional intelligence to the digital leader. We talk about uh, emotional intelligence, we talk about emotions. Uh, and when we talk about emotions, we can essentially plot them on two dimensions. I've said it's a people's school because that's what leadership is. Am, am I denying the existence of technology or its importance? Of course not. Fundamental. We're involved in a technical business and a technology business on the one side, and we're involved in a people business. That's what we do as leaders. research study focusing on how algorithms can take over management functions, right? And we actually analyzed the case of Uber, but in this case study will, um, yeah, we can abstract from this case study, and they're actually quite interesting findings that can be trans, you know, kind of, can be used to make sense out of our other technology-mediated contexts. Uh, I've got to try and sum up what's been a fantastic day. I hope you agree. Uh, we've been shocked. We've been informed. We've been uh, entertained. We've even learned about quantum computing. And